Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Animal Crossing Islanders with me. I'm Mimi, and this is our host, Stephanie. She is going to take us around this wonderful island of Breezeway. Right now, I am standing in front of a really, really cute sushi restaurant. I absolutely love this restaurant. Um, take a look how cute. Uh, look at the little lights on the simple panel. This is just adorable. While we walk through this island, be sure and look at all of the um, terraforming, all of the uh, panels that are done, all of the special stuff that she has gone to the effort to do. This is a really fun, amazing island, and I am so grateful that you are attending with us as we go live. Also wanted to remind everybody that we are in the Island of the Month contest, so if Breezeway is the island that you would pick for Island of the Month, be sure in the comments to put I love Breezeway. This is my vote for Viewer's Choice Island of the Month, and I will count that as your vote. And if you wanted to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already put, I subscribe to this channel because I love Breezeway, then that island, Breezeway, would get a second vote or any island you choose to vote for. So let's get started on this great tour of Breezeway. So here we are, that was the neat sushi restaurant. We are gonna follow our hostess, Stephanie, and here we go. She is taking us back this area right here. And I think we're gonna look at this nice area on the beach. But on the way, look at this, just a nice place to rest. I really, really love all the custom designs that she's come up with on this island. It is uh, very nicely done. Uh, it reminds me, one of the words I wanna say is, it is just mm, scrumptious, scrumptious. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute, but here is the pirate area of the island. I am not walking near Thwomp. She can do it. I am not. Over here is a um, like looks like an old pterodactyl and some seashells, and she almost got thwomped. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's just not start off with having to call the emergency rescue services. By the way, how many of you called them, and do you think that they're rude when they get you? I mean, she doesn't know what button to hit. Then she hits the button. And she is a little bit rude by saying, hey, don't over decorate. Like I didn't over decorate. I am stupid and got myself stuck. That's a little different. I'm on a cliff, you know, just, you know, that's all I'm saying. Okay, let's take a look. Here is a really neat little area. You've got the little playground. You've got the teacup ride. Ooh, I love that. Nintendo, once again, we want to ride the teacups. We want to ride the teacups. Please make it where we can get in them. Okay, enough said. Look how cute this is. I love the seaweed out here. So we're going to pass the sushi restaurant where we started, and let's see where we're going to go. I'm following you, sweetie. I love this. Look at the path on here. Is this not so cute? She's going to relax in the hammock, and I am going to take you, I think, up here and show you this festive area. This is great. We also have a nice little seating area where you can sit with your friend, have a little bit of apple cider. If you're adulting, um, maybe something a little bit stronger than apple cider, um, you know, apple juice. Um, yeah, <laughs> so let's go this way. I love this area over here. I think she's taking us through these stalls. Look at this little fruit market. Um, I am in love with this because I'm going to go ahead and order my coffee and make it through the rest of the tours. Oh, this is a reasonably priced island. Only 20 bells. Okay, let's see where else we're at. Where did she go? I've lost her. Oh, there she goes. Hello. I lost you. Go. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So coming this way is residence homes. Look at the little boots set out. All of this is so just very aesthetically pleasing. I like this um, area. I'm going to snap a picture. Love the waterfalls. Like the way the house looks. The mushrooms. Uh, just really aesthetically well done. Okay, let's see where we're going next. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, we're going to head this way and let her follow us. So here we are in a cute little music area. 
and this is just right off of the center area the resident services is right there and that makes that extremely fun if you wake up from a dream you can just come over here and jam out so that's a lot of fun okay here we go let's see where else she's going to lead us hmm here we go I think she's having some internet connection problems, so I'm going to go ahead and take over. Oh, look at her little flag. Look, look, look. It's a cow. Ah, that is so cute. Ha. Okay, so here we go. We have a little Egyptian pyramid right here, little flower garden. You've got all the different uh, flowers in here, including the gold flowers. And look at that, a little place to get married. That is adorable. Okie doke. Oh, and look, you can play the piano for the wedding. Here comes the bride. Here comes the groom. Whatever it is that you would like to play. On this day, we reunited. Look at this cute apple tree. Nice. Okay, let's see what direction she's wanting to go. I'm hoping her internet is um, caught up. Let's see where we're at. I don't believe it has. So let's just go this way and we're going to see what all we can find. So coming back around here is a nice, the nice beach area that we were at. And I am not exactly sure where I am, but I love the little heart path. Coming this way. Oh, look at the um, flowers and I love the simple panels. This is a nice scene right here. Just a little city feeling scene, maybe a little farmhouse type scene. You come over here. Ooh, it's a pizzeria. Nicely done. Like that a lot. You can sit there and get your pizza. I'm wondering where she has cake. Just saying, we need to find the cake. We have saw this. Okay, I think maybe she's catching up, so let's go see where she wants us to go. Hi, Raymond. By the way, I never can control what happens on live, but we are thrilled to be here and do this. So please laugh with this as we join on this adventure as we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> so here we go. I'm hopping around and taking off. Let me catch her and let's see where we're headed. Oh, this is a very nice entrance into the museum. Cool. Look at the little clovers on the ground. That's so nice. Okay. Little fountain area. You guys can see it all. Very cool. Here we are. Ooh, a science area. Let's see. I can't figure this project out. I feel like... It probably is C squared by, I have no idea. Okay, we're going to go on this way and follow it on around. Awesome. There's a little beehive right there. Nicely done area. It's just, I just, the best way I can explain it is it's aesthetically pleasing. I just think this has got so many neat custom paths, nice things are placed out. Real eye for decorating on this island. I love the stone around this pool. This is a well, well done pool area. Very nice. Let's see what else. Ooh, no, we get to sit at the movies. That is so nice. Look at that, guys. That's a neat movie theater. And look at the little thing of popcorn. No, I've never seen that. How cute. How cute. So coming back out and around. Where she goes, nobody knows. Here we are on a neat waterfall area with all the bamboo. Nice little area. You can sit under the bench and take a shower. Okay, I am totally getting wet. <laughs> okay, let's see where else we're going to go. Here we go. And a hippity hop we go. I hope she remembers I'm old. Oh, I guess maybe not terribly, terribly old, but, you know, those of us who, you know, are up past the 5-0 mark kind of have a harder time hopping just just saying <laughs> lovely pumpkin patch too cute oh i love the little work apron and the way she's got this set up we could buy a little cactus buy some plants that's cute 
and a big hop. And here's another really nicely done area. Ooh, a gold axe. Very cute. Nice. And let's go this direction. There's a beautiful statue right there. Literally a beautiful statue. Oh man, she's making me hop. Here we go. <laughs> Honestly, I love I love to hop on. Uh, when I was younger, I would go rock hopping all the time with my husband. And he's so sure-footed. And um, I'm not. We'll just say that. You know, some people are born athletic. And some people are not. Uh, some people are born with good instincts for athletics, and some people are not. God made everybody different, and I have to admit, I am the are not. <laughs> so here we are. This is a very pretty red area. N nice. Look at the balloon. Oh, look at the cute little balloon hat. That's adorable. One day, my sister and I um, and my husband all dressed up in those balloon hats and took a lot of pictures on our islands. It was actually a very fun day because we could be extremely silly. That's the other thing I love about this game is it brings you to family that may not even be near you. You get to have your family. And so um, my sister lives way far away, which she's a rat. I love her to death, but she's a rat because she lives in Florida and off of the beach and so like i'm calling her and she's like well i'll watch your video but i'm on the beach really yeah but i love her dearly because she is probably my very best friend on this earth and i don't know what i would do without her but it makes me feel so much closer to her that she can come and play this game with me so um it, it means a lot to me to have the Nintendo Switch and the Animal Crossing game because whether I get to hug her in real life or get to see her in a game, sometimes we'll go in the Able Sisters and just try and close and I get to be with my sister. Look at all this cute island. I know I'm talking as we're walking, but I know you guys know what you're looking at and you have eyes to see, so we're just checking it out. Love this little fishing area. Too cute. So that is one of the things that makes Animal Crossings very dear and special to me is that I can connect with family from all over, especially my sister, um, especially my sister. So I'm so grateful to her for always, when I call her, um, mostly being willing to come on over and fly over and see my new stuff. So, and that's, yeah. So I don't know if you guys have family you play with or friends that live far away, but I hope you do. And I hope that you, if you don't know how to do that, please let me know. I will teach you how to fly, how to have your family over and be able to have that close connection. There's also apps where you can um, text each other so that you don't have such a hard time communicating when people are on your island. This is just adorable. I am in love with this island and this hostess. Uh, I've met so many people through this YouTube channel, and God has blessed me significantly um, with YouTube. And one of the things that I am so grateful for is meeting hostesses like she is. Stephanie is a little dream. So kind, so sweet, and generous, and um, I absolutely cannot tell you how grateful I am for her, for letting us tour her magnificent island and um, I'm going to get a coconut juice now because I'm emotional. Not really. I'm okay. <laughs> Yay. She is so cute. Look at her little boots. Get out. Just adorable. And her little shorts. I haven't even seen those. I love those. No, are we hopping? We are hopping. Here we go. Oh, look at this, though. Oh, hello. This is so cute. Ah! I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is my favorite so far. I don't know. It is so cute. Yay for her. Wait, I've got a clap. Let me see here. Oops, sorry. I've got a, oops, wrong thing. Live TV, you don't know what you're doing. We'll just do the happy thing. Yay! <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> I am such a dork. I do that when I play normally, but it's really bad when you're on live TV and you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> Love this arch. Here we go. 
Oh my goodness. I love that. Look, I'm, I'm cutting off. I don't care. Look at the little area here with the laundry that, oh my goodness, that's so cute. And here she goes hopping. Here we are in the first house. Don't you hate that on this game where it just slams the door in the face? I mean, come on. Rude. And nobody wants to be rude, but that's what happens. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is so nicely done. Wow. Love the simple panels on the wall. Like the darkness of this room that is kind of spliced with some light. So nice. Okay, where did she go? She went behind into the back area. I shall follow. Oh my goodness. I, I have my grandkids at my house while I'm doing this. And um, I hear them in there laughing because they know their Mimi's a dork. <laughs> so, Lindley and Roy, I love you. Okay, so this is neat. I don't know how where she got these lighted stalls, but her and I are going to have a little talk after this because I love that. Wow, that is so cute. Great idea in here. This feels like the little country home, you know. I should have wore, I, I dress more French, I think. I should have worn my cowboy stuff, uh, you know, but I, I'd already wore this over the first time, so I didn't want to change my clothes because, you know, um, I just didn't want to be that dorky, but apparently I'm that dorky. So let's see what's back here. Oh my goodness. This is adorable. So this is a place that you can do your laundry and run on the treadmill. And then as soon as the laundry beeps, you turn off the treadmill and you're like, oh, thank God. The only problem I have with this entire room, and I really do have a small problem with this room, and that is the scales. I think that they just take, scales to me are fun suckers. They suck the fun out of everything and they're liars. So fun sucker, liar scale. That's all I'm saying. It needs to go. <laughs> and here we go. Let's see what else we can find. Up, up, up we go. Drum roll. I have no idea what I'm walking into. Oh, this is so cute. And the cow pictures, oh, I love that. I love, love, love. With the antique furniture, look at the phone, the little gray phone. You have the antique, everything, the wardrobe, the vanity, the bed, the table. Look at the books up there. Awesome. Love the botanical wall in the black in that room. It just kind of ties everything together. Holy cow, I feel like I could be an interior decorator after hosting so many beautiful homes. And let's see what else is on Breezeway. By the way, this island is a little bit close to my heart because my island is named The Breeze. So we have Breezeway and Breeze and hello, this is great. Okay, where are we going? She's warp piping awesome sauce. Yes! Here we go! I don't even know where we're going. This is so fun. Yay! We're by the camp. Take me, girl. Here we are. Look at the little well. It just adds. It's just very significantly well done. I don't know what the word is, but I, I know what I'm thinking. I just, you know, um, having had a stroke, I can't always think of the words that my heart wants to say, but this is so cute. Wow. Look at this campground. Nicely, nicely, nicely done. Hello, fellow citizen. That is so cute. Okay, so another fun fact about me is that my family plays family games, and we have teams. And so my daughter and her husband are called Random Citizens, which is the best team name I think I've 
ever heard. My husband and I, well, we're the gimpy geezers. So just, you know, a little insight into my world. But surprisingly enough, when we play Mario Tennis, the gimpy geezers kick it. We are pretty good. So this is the island of Breezeway. I wanted to let you guys know how beautifully well done this island is. Once again, the contest ends March the 30th. So if this is your island of the month, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Make sure that you say this is my island of the month. And if you would like the channel, like what you hear and see, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thank you so much.